I'm here at the bathhouse going to dry some towels and check to see if I got any footage because my camera jammed and I've never had it to do it. I've got the waterproof back on it so I know water didn't get to it. It was just acting strange so let me get in here and get these towels get this light on okay all right so what I've got if it didn't cover it in the last 15 minutes I videotaped these are the towels that we use to keep the dogs dry and uh, I'm gonna just take them and put them into the washer and spin them yeah now we're spinning all right let's give this time to spin and uh, if I didn't get the footage that I tried to get a while ago, I'll go back and do it all again. I walked all around the water down here. I hope I got it. Uh, this has been a little stressful. It's, it's not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. My thing is just being trapped. <laughs> it's what I feel like I am. I don't know where to go. I mean, we could leave if we wanted to, I guess, because the rain has slacked a little bit today and, and also tonight that we actually can move today but I don't know the area well enough to know the roads. I'm afraid that I'm going to get, uh, you know, blocked in somewhere and can't get out. This has been, uh, like I said, quite an experience. I, I did come prepared. Uh, I didn't uh, want to ruin all my equipment, so that's good that I've got all my recorders and everything under the rain gear. And I've got the waterproof back on this camera. This is really a nice campground. This guy here is the host. Uh, there's two other hosts around the state park. I am the only camper, paying camper, that is here at this entire state park at uh, Lake Claiborne. And some may say, well, you know, everybody else had enough sense to get out of there. Well, everybody else that was here was from Louisiana. They probably went home. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't, you know. It, it wasn't it was an uh, option for me. And besides that, too, it's the same thing at my house. Uh, this whole line of storms is going from uh, southeastern Texas all the way to probably Chicago. Uh, and the line is just we're sitting in the line and my home is sitting in the line in Arkansas. We've gotten, uh, I think they said 12 and a half inches in 24 hours. I mean, that's just phenomenal. But like I say, it's kind of slacked out. We're in a little bit of a null right now. Um, east of Monroe, Louisiana, they're gonna get four to five inches today. Over this direction towards Shreveport, they're gonna get maybe three inches. We may get an inch, inch and a half. Now, and, and that, that's a slack, <laughs> that, that's good. Inch and a half is good for us. But tomorrow, it's supposed to start hammering again. Uh, by Monday, it is supposed to cease. Uh, but then I'm still in the dilemma of the roads. So I'm going to have to really get with someone and talk to someone, uh, whether it be the highway patrol or whatever, to find out what, uh, what roads are blocked. I don't know if you saw my video the other day where I made the fishing pole. If you get a chance to, you might go back and look at that. <laughs> I'm fixing to show you something. I was standing on a bridge and I was using that little cane pole I'd found and I was trying to catch a fish. And actually, I can't go to where I was even setting the camera at, but this is the spot that I was at. I had set the camera, <laughs> yeah, there's a bridge somewhere down there. I had set the camera, I think between this cedar tree and that tree right down there, some, it was sitting down there somewhere. It's about probably three foot deep where the camera was sitting at. And I walked on down and the bank slopes on down and there is actually a bridge that goes all the way across this thing. Well, okay, I can see the top of it now. You might be able to see it. The water's clear enough. Can you see the top rail maybe? I don't know where it's at. It's, it's, you see some debris. Of course, there's all debris here. A little spot of debris floating right there, but you might see a line in the water. Well, that's about, looks like maybe foot and a half maybe something like that over the top of the rails of that bridge and uh, you know it had rails on it that was waist high and the water was oh, probably two foot below the, the the bridge itself so you know that's a six foot rise <laughs> of water uh, I'm just thankful that we're like I say up the hills but uh, sooner or later we got to come off these hills Well, can't think of nothing else to say.